Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm located in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about Twin Flame Ascension. Ascension, Twin Flames, Soulmates, Healing and Love. Thanks so much. If this is new to you, please stick around and you will find out a lot that you need to know. I have ways to leap people forward because I work in that quantum field that gets action in a lot shorter time. So welcome. In today's video, I want to talk to you about taking the hara out of harassment. What is that? What is the hara? Well, the hara is frequently thought of as a chakra. It's frequently thought of the part of you that is um, reproductive. It is a connection to other people. It's What it actually is, is it is a planetary connection to Earth. It's what Kundalini run, energy runs through. It runs through parts of you. It is the part of you that is like an umbilical cord to your collective, your tribe, whoever it is. Now that's where it gets tricky because everyone has messed with each other for lifetimes, centuries, decades, and time out. The buck stops here. Your soul is drawing some boundaries. What does that mean, though? Well, for the very first thing, it means that that part of you isn't to be trampled on, used, abused, oppressed, suppressed, or tortured or tormented in any way further. So the hara, if someone's been harassing you, so let's take just harassment. It could be at work, it could be at school, it could be on the street. We've all learned to play the game, right? We've Didn't you learn how to play the game? I have my two actresses here. Why do people do that? They whistle, you can't even walk, they whistle, oh yeah. And then, you know, some dude caught me watching him and then I felt so embarrassed because I was staring and then we locked eyes and I didn't know what to do. That's the hara, okay? That's the hara. It's like the knee-jerk reaction, like must procreate, must do something, must. Now you owe someone a conversation just because you locked eyes with them, right? Hara. People are not in their egos. Your ego is trying to pull parts of you away. Your hara is still stuck with people. That's tricky, and that's why situations perpetuate. It can make you feel like an empath. It can make you feel more empathic than you even recognize as empath. True empathy is more like sympathy. You have an understanding, a compassion. This is what I teach people. When they work with my twin flame modality, they begin to truly detach. They begin to not only back up, back away, step away from the perpetrators and the idiots. They lift up. And when you lift up, that is where you have the detached compassion that you need to still work in a situation where there's jerks, to still exist in a situation where people may have formerly seemed like they're out gunning for you, and then they start seeming like five-year-old idiots weren't running around doing the same old crap, okay? I'm going to use Halloween as a really good example because that was how it was for me. I went from feeling like I was on guard all the time. I'm on guard. I have my weaponry, right? A lot of you do that. You're like, well, I've got my weapons. I got this. I got that. Look, I got stuff too. All right. So, you know, I have my feathers. Hey, there's my feather. Red tail hawk feather. I'm not knocking it. I have my little sayings here. Our kids need angels like you. Yeah, this reminds me because kids suffer a lot from that. As a child, as a teen, as a young adult, did you suffer from this hara being harassed? I got my crystals. It None of these things matter because your light body is ultimately not armor. It is love. Okay, let me repeat that. You don't need armor. You need love. What that means is 
that love has to envelop you and create a structure around you that bing, 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 lets things easily get away from you. It's not that you won't notice someone being a jerk. It is that you will see that it can't penetrate. Okay? How many people's energies do you feel like you have in you? A lot? A little? Do you distance yourself? That was a big thing we had over almost two years now. Distancing. How distant do you want to be? Is it upsetting you? Is it upsetting your social life? Do you feel lonely? Do you feel apart from people even as you're coming together? There's a lot of topsy-turvy stuff, which means that, you know, things that were like, oh, we're going to be in all this together. And then, you know, you're together and you can't stand people. You love humanity, but you can't stand people. Well, that's not exactly the best attitude to have, but it can feel like that. What is real empathy? Okay, it's not letting people trample all over your last nerve. You had one last nerve and it's all frayed and people are stepping on it and you have pain. Well, guess what's causing the pain? It's all the stuff people, people, people have done, people have done, people you've known, people around you. There is a solution. So I pride myself in that, in helping people to work with their hara, their own kundalini energy, your own contribution to Earth's energy, your essence, and bring what is you to you. Now, furthermore, how do you stop being an empath? Stop being an empath. Bring the hara out of harassment. How do you stop people from doing that? Well, it is not from telling them off, and it is through a true transformation. And there's a weird thing that happens. Let me explain it to you, because it's really wild. It's really wild, okay? People that formerly did things, it'll be like this. Like you somehow erase that little glitch in their head, and then they don't know how to be with you, and it gets even better. Some people start doing this thing that I call true confessions. They get real honest. They start saying things like, well, I was cheating and then this, this, this. And you might take a step back and say like, whoa, what just happened? Do I even trust this? Do I, are they just playing me again? That's your abuse issues. If you start questioning that, you know, hey, I'm going to get played again. I'm going to take advantage of. Now they're trying a different tactic. I help you with that discernment. A lot of people use tactics. So let's get back to the game, the dating game, right? We all know the game. Everyone has to play the game. Happened to me. It's literally happened to me where people have told me off even when they gave me their phone number. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Then you call them and it's just like, yeah. How many more times am I going to get played? I'm up to here with it. Okay? So this is something that you do not have to endure anymore because I'll tell you why. Ascension is here. Twin flame ascension is here. That means your other half is doing the same thing so you two can converge. Not only do you converge, you merge. And that is the name of what I do. Twin flames merge. I have an entire modality to get you through each section of it. I don't like to use the word stages or phases because some people really accelerate through it. They especially accelerate when they use my modality, when they use my methods, which make it so easy, so much easier. It doesn't take years. You can get through things in a month. Ascension should take you at the minimum about eight months. There is no one person or one healer that can wave a magic wand and say, boom, you're ascended. It is a process. That being said, get started with your process. Be proactive. Stop lurking. Stop peeping. You know, stop peeking in all at the videos. Get started. I have the best modality out there. I have what works. 
I have people ascending. I have people that I would consider them, they've already graduated. They're transformed and in their new life because I've been doing this for 15 years. I know what I'm doing. I know how to expedite it. This was something I said to my higher self. I said, you know, if I'm going to help people, I can't just talk about this. There has to be a way to do it. If there were a way to hit someone with a thunderbolt, and have a spiritual awakening, God, let's just do it. God. And you know what? I started getting that guidance. I have it down to the art, the science, the biology, and the love. Because you have biology, and you have a heart, and there's a science to your body, but there is an eternal heart that is here for love. Can I please hear a lot of people out here what are you really here for? Okay? It's for love. Remember that. Remember your why. Remember why this started to begin with. And get back on track. Let's get your body going because that's really where you want to feel it. You want that again and again and again and again. So thanks so much for watching. Check the links below. I hope to see you there. And have a good day. Bye.